Uh, hello people, I must show you what I did to delete tasks in Task Scheduler because this doesn't allow you to uh, delete uh, schedule the tasks. Uh, wait a minute, I have to I have to type this task. Okay, I found it. You have to, when you use a uh, classic shell, because I'm using classic shell, because it's easier for me, if you, f if you got trouble to find the task schedule, you have to uh, click on programs. When you click on that arrow, you should see task schedule. I have to tell you why I will be publishing video tutorial and what's the problem. Because I tried many methods to be able to stop background intelligent transfer service from manual startup. Because I always uh, uh, configure this service, but Windows is resetting my settings. As you see, I hate update orchestrator service. Even if you do that as I did now, Windows will re reset that settings. It will reset that setting of the service. Unfortunately, uh, come on, come on, Windows, stop turning this on, and I will show you what I will be doing and I will explain why does this work and what it doesn't work. Even if you do through task manager, Windows will reset your settings. And in this case you will have to go to task scheduler library, Microsoft, Windows, Because you cannot really delete uh, schedule the tasks in a, a task scheduler because you will receive that message. What I will do, I will first use uh, hypersnap to uh, take snapshot of this message because I will be publishing video tutorial. You can still delete those tasks. I will show you what I did. It is still possible. First of all I will have to um, I will have to delete this. But we need to get rid of this. What I will use? Windows registry. Only through Windows Registry you will be able to fix that. Hacky local machine software you have to go Microsoft Windows Windows NT Windows NT current version Schedule when you go to Schedule we need to go to task cage. In task cage, we need to go to tree. In tree, you should notice Microsoft Windows Update Orchestrator Service. Oh, we got it. I, I just have to check. I will have to check something because I have to make sure I will delete those uh, schedule the tasks. What we got here? Okay. Okay, that's fine. 
Now I can see, I just wanted to do the music. The only thing, this is why I'm doing this, because Windows will no longer reset your settings. Because those services I disabled because they overload the processor and hard drive. After doing this, you will see nothing over there. I just check this. If I got something. Oh, I have to delete this. Mm. Well, I w maybe I will leave it because in task scheduler, I was able to delete that scheduled task. Now I can check people. In task scheduler, I can check Windows. Update Orchestrator. We have got nothing because we already deleted in Win in registry. In Windows Update, you can still delete scheduled task, but Update Orchestrator. This service turns automatically on. Even if you disable that service, it will turn itself on again. Because Windows does uh, on its own. I made it possible for you to disable those services completely. So this service will no longer run automatically. And that service will no longer run on its own without your permission. Only if you want this service to run, it's up to you. But as I told you, this will increase performance. After disabling those services, you will have better performance. Okay. This main I disabled, but it doesn't have schedule the tasks. Uh, what else? I will show you in a minute. Those services you have to disable because they impact your hard drive and processor performance. Your CPU and hard drive is overloaded because of those services connected. Users and telemetry you have to disable and the bits you have to disable. But after my after doing this, Windows will no longer reset your settings. Uh, 